Look, there's nothing more important in this current economic recession than increasing your ability to earn income. And I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of college degrees will actually do the opposite and will absolutely crush your chances of making good money at a young age when you can actually enjoy it. But the truth is money is everywhere and all you have to do is claim it. And the way you claim it is by going where the opportunity is. And that's why I put together a list of the highest paying bachelor degrees. And I'm gonna break this down into different types of degrees as well. So you're going to find something that's interesting to you, whether or not you're interested in business, health, technology, math, engineering, science, social science, or even an art degree. But you will be 10 times more likely to reach that milestone than if you got a useless degree. Now, the first one on the list is going to be a business related degree. And this one combines business skills with technology skills with an emphasis on data. You see, data is more valuable than oil or gold. And companies need people who are good at organizing and making sense of all the data that they get. And that's where you come in if you get a management information systems degree. So this degree is basically a perfect combination of technology skills and business skills. And just about every business and every single industry out there needs people that have these skill sets. And that's why you see insanely good numbers when you look at this degree. So for instance, when you type in management information systems on Glassdoor, you're gonna see they make about $97,000 a year. And when you look on BLS, it's growing at 16% over the next 10 years. So yeah, there is a lot of positives to getting this degree. I will say that the way that companies collect data is extremely sketchy. They basically stole our data without our permission, and they pretty much got clean away with it. And the reason they're able to do that is because a lot of the big technology companies are basically proxies for the government to do what they want. And hopefully that doesn't involve them using that data to control people against their will. And by the way, if you find this content to be valuable, go ahead, gently tap that like button and the algorithm will serve you more of it. Now, the next one on the list is going to be a health related bachelor's degree. And this one's kind of like being a superhero, except instead of wearing a cape, you're going to be wearing scrubs and a stethoscope. So you should get ready to save lives and be on your feet all day. So make sure to buy some really good high quality shoes. And of course, I'm talking about nursing. No, but seriously, if you want to buy a good pair of shoes, just find one of your friends who's a nurse and I can almost guarantee you they're going to tell you the best one. Now, nurses are basically the foot soldier of the healthcare industry, right? They're like on the front line in the war against death and injury. And I know that sounds kind of morbid, but literally nurses are like the backbone of the healthcare system. Now, entry-level nursing jobs, you're gonna make about $69,000 a year, but I can almost guarantee you if you specialize, you can make way more than that. I know nurses who make several hundred thousand dollars a year, and it's growing at about 6% over the next 10 years. So this one is great for people who love helping other people, and it's not so good for people who get queasy at the sight of blood. Now, the next one is going to be for my math nerds out there. And it's kind of like being a detective that solves mysteries with numbers instead of clues. So you'll need to be good at math and have a sharp eye for detail. And the degree I'm talking about is going to be statistics. So remember when I was talking about data and how valuable it is to companies? Well, one of the main ways that companies get actionable insights from that data is they hire people who are good at statistics to make sense of it. Now, speaking of statistics, did you know that you'll have a 500% better chance of getting a girlfriend if you share this video with a friend or family member who needs to see it? It's science. I mean, just about anything passes for science these days. So hey, it could be true. Now, all joking aside, statisticians, really hard to say that word, make about $85,000 a year, and it's growing at 31% over the next 10 years. So this one is great for people who love math, logic, and puzzles. And it's not so good for people who find numbers to be more confusing than words. Now, the next one on the list came in as my number one degree out of over 900 different degrees on my college degree ranker. So this one has insanely good statistics. And it's basically like speaking the language of robots and being able to command them what to do. And you're probably able to guess which one it is. Yes, it is computer science. And computer science will probably lead you to a job as a software developer. And if you haven't noticed, this world basically runs on technology. And computer scientists are the ones who are making sure that it's running properly. Now, I'll be honest with you. I think technology has gone a little bit too far. There's a lot of studies that have shown that depression and anxiety and other mental disorders have actually gone up since the onset of social media. So I really do think that you should limit your exposure to technology. And I think the most important thing, this is probably going to be the difference between the people who are successful and not successful, is your ability to use technology and not let technology use you. But there's a lot of really cool things coming out in technology. For instance, I'm a huge fan of cryptocurrency and the blockchain, but it can also be used for bad. So for instance, governments now 
now are saying that they are going to try to create their own versions of digital currency known as CBDCs, which is central bank digital currencies. And that is absolutely terrifying because they will be able to control what you're allowed to spend your money on, right? So if they think you've been a bad boy, you might not be able to buy a car or get transportation, or they might limit the amount of meat you can eat, right? It's really actually kind of terrifying. And they literally say that you're going to own nothing and be happy. So what I mean by this is technology can be used for good or evil. It's a tool just like anything else. Now, as a computer scientist, you would be expected to make about $115,000 a year. And these types of careers are growing at about 15% over the next 10 years. Now, speaking of technology, there are a bunch of different great technology careers out there that you don't actually have to get college degrees in order to get into. And the sponsor of this video is going to be Course Careers, and they help people get into IT related careers in a very short period of time. So for instance, I've interviewed people on this channel who've been able to get into IT careers in less than a month. So definitely check them out. They have a free training, which I'll put down in the description below where they'll kind of go over how you can get into an IT career. They'll explain to you how it works. Then if you'd like to, there's also a paid course where you'll get access to coaches and you'll also go through it with a bunch of other people. So it's a cohort. And if you'd like to buy the paid course, you can use my coupon code down below, which is Shane 50. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment. Now, the next one on the list is going to be an engineering related degree. And I think everybody knows that these degrees are really good, but some of them are better than others. And software developers know the language of robots to command them what to do, but the people who give those robots life are going to be electrical engineers. And our entire society runs on electricity. And electrical engineers are the ones who design and build those systems that make everything work. Now with this one, you'd expect to make about $88,000 a year in the entry level job. And as an electrical engineer, it's only growing at about 2% over the next 10 years, but there is a ton of different careers that you can go into. So this one is pretty rigorous. It's for people who love math and science, and they also aren't afraid of getting shocked. Now, the next one on the list is going to be a science related degree. And everybody thinks that all STEM degrees are great, but the truth is STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And the last three, the TEM are much better than science. A lot of science degrees are actually not good, or in some case, they even fall into the category of being borderline useless. And sadly, science has been hijacked by woke tyrants and universities. And for some reason, they seem to be really confused about basic biological principles, like people who have XX chromosomes are women and people who have XY chromosomes are men. And they are literally letting men compete in women's sports, right? I didn't think I would ever see this in my lifetime. This seems like some sort of like Salem witch trials type of thing. It seems like something that you read about in history, but you think, oh, this is never gonna actually happen. But nope, it is actually happening right now. So unfortunately, science, as much as I love it, is a complete joke right now. Now, if you get a job as a biochemist, you can expect to make about $75,000 a year. And this one is expected to grow at about 15% over the next 10 years. So biochemistry is one of the few science related degrees that are still really good. Now, the next one on the list is going to be a social sciences degree. And yes, most of these types of degrees are not very good when it comes to the numbers. However, I think a lot of them are extremely interesting. And one of the most interesting ones is actually still a pretty good degree to get. And this is gonna be studying how people make money, spend money, and stress about money. And a lot of the time it's gonna be done from a big picture perspective. Now, what's so interesting about economics is yes, there is a logical kind of like science fact-based component to it, but at the same time, you're still dealing with human beings and people are extremely illogical. So 80% of it is kind of like science, math, analytical thinking, but 20% of it is just understanding illogical thinking. And there's definitely a part of economics that has sort of been hijacked as well, where basically it's just a bunch of fancy words and terminology to make up excuses to make the money printer go burr. Now, economists make about $99,000 a year and and it's expected to grow at about 6% over the next 10 years. But keep in mind, to become an economist, you typically have to get a master's or a doctorate. With that being said, there's a lot of jobs out there where it does not require a master's or a doctorate, and you can get into it with just a bachelor's. So this one is great for people who sort of like money, but they also like psychology and sociology at the same time. And you can kind of understand why human beings do what they do when it comes to money. And it also helps you understand how the entire world works as well. Now, the next one I'm gonna talk about is going to be an art-related degree 
agree. And I have to admit something, I sort of tricked you because I'm gonna tell you right now, 99% of the time, it's not a good idea to get an art related degree. So I'll go ahead and give you an example of where it would be a good idea. If you are a world-class classical guitarist, for instance, right? And you're like in the top 99.9th percentile and you're trying to get into the top 99.99th percentile and you have an opportunity to go to a top level school where you're gonna get to work with people who are even better than you, then it might be a good idea to get an art degree. But in almost every other case, it's not a good idea. And the reason for that is because universities are never going to be able to teach you what is up to date in art. And it's gonna cost you a lot of money and it's probably going to set you back when it comes to you reaching your goals. Now this is coming from somebody who's technically an artist. I mean, I guess I'm an artist because I make YouTube videos. As cringe as that sounds, I mean, I make some really good modern art when it comes to my thumbnails, for instance. I think my O face on thumbnails is as good as anybody else out there. And I have absolutely no problem with artists. In fact, I would say the majority of my friends are artists. But what I would recommend if you want to actually make money for a living from your art, which by the way, you don't have to do, you can just keep it as a hobby. And in that case, you'll probably end up enjoying it more. But if you do want to make money, actually get a job from your art, I highly recommend reading the book Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. This book is going to give you practical tips for how to actually make a living, make money from art. And there are some jobs out there that are available to artists, but chances are you're probably going to have to start your own thing, become an entrepreneur, and that's how you'll make money from art. And it's much better for you to probably just get a stable, steady job, learning some sort of valuable skill, which is what I teach on this channel, and then try to make your money from art on the side. That is going to increase your chances of success exponentially. And when it comes to learning how to get really good at art, what you should do is put yourself in a community of other people that are doing the same type of art that you are. So for instance, if you want to start a successful YouTube channel, make friends with a bunch of other people who are also trying to start a successful YouTube channel. Or even better yet, get yourself around people who have already started YouTube channels. And the best thing you could possibly do is to work for an established YouTube creator and learn as much as you can from them. Like, I really hope you listen to that last part because that will probably save you like five to 10 years and a hundred thousand dollars. And not to mention saving you from a bunch of pain and stress. Now, by the way, if you're still searching about what bachelor's degree is gonna be best for you to get, I actually rank the top 100 most common bachelor's degrees from S tier, which is the best, to F tier, which is the worst. And you can check that out by clicking right here.